Hello, YouTube. You could have made it longer. <laughs> Hello. Production vlog, arts vlog. I don't know what we're really calling all these. It's a Upda miscellaneous update vlog. We're updating because there are things to update on. We've moved. Yay! We have an apartment. We done graduated. We, we, we have degrees. I'm still kind of miffed because my degree technically says Bachelor's of Fine Arts. We've graduated. We have apartment. We have day job. And really, that's kind of the whole shebang. But... We're also going to talk about a few hit cam related things because hit cam is still a thing. There are hiccups all over the place, but that's just kind of life in general. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, we're working on the pilot. Uh, we still plan to have something by... By spooky time. By spooky times, hopefully in October. Um, in fall in general, the best case scenario would be having the entire pilot done by fall. Is that possible? I think so. I think we can make it possible. However, is it likely? Maybe not. <laughs> um, because again, like I said, we have day jobs. I'm working at a, a retail store. Ace is working on arcade again, which is really cool. I pretty much got transferred from one location to another in the same chain. Yeah. So. so, you know, we have to kind of live life. Uh, I am still very much on an application grind. But I'm applying to a lot of studios, remote positions, uh, in-state positions, all sorts of stuff. Uh, so again, life gets in the way of making something as ambitious as what we're doing, but we're still doing it uh, slowly as, as it happens. Uh, hopefully, if our subscriber count jumps up, we can kind of validate the project and make it worth more time. Uh, but like I said, it'll happen. The worst case, so best case scenario is that we get an entire pilot done by the fall. The worst case scenario, the very least that we will deliver by November. Like I said, worst case, best case scenario, we get to do something really fun on spooky times. Well, best case scenario would be early to mid fall. Worst case would be late fall yeah. to early winter. Yeah. So worst case scenario is like the end of November, probably we don't release a full pilot, but we will release another trailer. So whereas what we've released so far is kind of a series trailer in general, we're just like, hey, look at our cool characters. Look at us drawing and animating. This one would be more of specifically a trailer about the pilot to show what we plan to do in that. Um, one of the reasons that it, we may not get the full pilot done by, you know, spoopy time uh is because there's a little bit of burnout uh with you especially ace i think right oh definitely with me yeah just because like especially... again graduating from art school and and then wondering what was it all for yeah and then it's just just a it's a weird downward spiral and it's yeah it's not fun i'm still trying to figure out that end of it yeah um but but i'll i'll, I'll get through it yeah yeah and I mean, again, none of this is to be like, ah, Ace has fallen apart or anything. So again, I, th I think life is pretty good right now. It's just weird. <laughs> yeah. Fucking headspace. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, again, you know, we, we have our own place. We're, you know, we're playing games. We're seeing friends again. We're you know. working and I make it work friends. Yeah. I've so been again. drawing Ollie's during work. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really supposed to, but. But people love them. Yeah. People love them. Especially and, and, management. Yeah. I again. walked in I walked into the management office to get my breaker schedule and I already saw two already posted up on the management board by the door. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> but again, that's the thing, like, you know, is there stress? Yes, you know, is the project stressful sometimes? Is life weird? Yeah. But again, it's also good, I think, overall. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But so to prevent that, because we, we, we still like hit cam. Uh one and one of the things that we've done, uh, thanks to um, uh, Eros and our Ink Goblin friend and all of our other fun art school buddies is that there's a whole, there's a whole world to hit cam already in our heads and we want to get more of that world out there and telling a traditional linear story doesn't really let you show off as much of a world as you want so we're trying to make kind of like hit cam side projects uh, and one of them we're going to be working on with our good friend Nath 
uh, who many, who some of you may remember from our art school podcast thing. And we're going to make a kind of monster guide. Um, think the Gravity Falls journal, but... But Monster Hunter. Like R-rated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> think R-rated Gravity Falls R-rated journal. R-rated Gravity Falls. I think everyone after watching Gravity Falls would want some sort of R-rated Gravity oh, yeah. Falls. Right. But all they have is us. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to make a little thing there to try to release um, before fall even. Which actually, I mean, I guess fall's coming up closer and closer probably get a, a hit cam themed video out by end of summer then i guess if that's what that means um but yeah so that's that's where everything's at um the trailer was received very well i'd say yeah um, it's one of our yeah we don't like i i personally don't like paying attention to all like the numbers and analytics and everything but we did receive good uh we got good comments we it very obvious like just looking at our views in general you can see um you can see what it was yeah. um we've put kind of a hold on our second draw fee fan animation um just because it was taking a long time and it's not where we wanted to focus our efforts maybe we'll release like a cut up version of it or maybe like smaller chunks i don't know i really want to post that still though that i worked yeah. on it's it's it is the greatest. Yeah. But, because I, and I think we still want to do like fan arty things. Maybe we'll focus more on like fan art draw cast just because those are a little quicker to do and more feasible. I also want to do like more storytelling with some of our draw casts. I think that'd be really fun. Like, I still want to properly write like a, a fairy tale version of like my Ahsoka Cenobite. Like, how she yeah. would have fallen to the dark side and how that would have, like, opened a trans-universal portal and everything. Oh, that would be, that would be so I have I cool. have that idea circulating would, around. Yeah. And I, I'm Did thinking, you, like, write it? I wrote down, like, the outline. Ah, well, one of that's the, right. One of the bare bones is that, basically, after... After Order, after 66, Order 66 happened. She would, like, get into, like, a romance with uh, Asajj Ventress. Because I don't know why, but that seemed like a, a good ship to me. Like that really, is like the strangest headcanon ship. Like I don't think like, it would actually it, happen, but in my weird Cenobite world, it is. Yeah, it's exactly because it's in that weird Cenobite universe. Yeah. It just makes sense. <laughs> maybe when I, uh, maybe if I do write it and make a video on it, I'll, I'll do a Cenobite version of a, uh, of a Saj Ventress. I want to see that shit. <laughs> It was gimme, that, gimme. that video wasn't actually received too well i don't think i don't know if it's just because it was shorter and quicker or because some people didn't like that i portrayed ahsoka that way because there, there wasn't a lot of comments I, it was just and again with a small channel like ours it's kind of hard to actually get anything out of that mm-hmm. because like a 66 and also percent just like ratio is only two likes and one dislike so like is that really enough to get i, I, I don't and also just the algorithm in general is just yeah. a load of horse shit yeah and like i, I would have thought just putting star wars in the title would have got would have gotten a little bit more into it but i liked it so maybe we'll do it again is the bottom line uh maybe we'll turn more characters into cenobites and monsters maybe we'll uh do and i still want to do like an scp video at some point i want to yeah. all some scps so yeah we that's that. did we did record something for our hundred sub celebration we did i don't know when that will actually come out because i don't have the time to edit that um and it's too big to send to our friend online so they need to come over here and pick up a pen drive and we don't know when they're coming over but yes, there's a we recorded a, a let's play where I beat Slender Man in uh, Slender the uh, Slender the Arrival and just in like under, two and a half hours. Like two, yeah, two and a half hours. I beat the game, uh, and it was really fun. Wish we could stream it, but uh, yeah, technic- technical difficulties. But yeah, that was very fun. Cause we and it kind of it's reawakened a thing. Like that game was still scary to me. Like it wasn't the scariest thing I've ever I had ever done, but it did legitimately scare me, and it makes me wonder. Because I also downloaded Doom for the Switch, like Doom 3, the old one. And that game has legitimately scared me. I kind of want to do a video where we do poke at what made old games scary. Because I wonder, I, I want to like very uh, academically take that apart and figure out what it is. Because like... 
Yeah, because it, it's, it's not just jump scares. That's not all. Yeah, of a lot are. of. And like, it's not that everything's rendered so gorily. I mean, Doom has gore, but it's not. It's an old game, and it's still scary without that explicitness kind of thing. So I really wonder what it is that is triggering. Because again, it's not like it's the scariest thing ever, but it's. It's evoking more, a reaction, yeah. and I'm interested if I can figure out why and if we could duplicate it somehow. So, yeah, because it's more, it's more. There's more to scary games than just jump gore scare, and jump, jump scares. Gore. Uh, and it's not. I mean, maybe it's mainly atmosphere, but again, maybe. I feel like it's not just that. I, I again, it's like maybe it's just because it's old. Maybe, maybe old maybe. is just scary. But or again, maybe it's just I, like crafting a really good story. Yeah. But I feel like saying things like that is doing it a disservice. Again, I just I just feel like it warrants that deep dive. So yeah, but yeah, I get you. So we've been up to things, We're working. Uh, I made some music. Ace is making music. Ace got back into music hardcore. I'd say. Uh, I want more. <laughs> you've you've shown me that you have a talent, and now I will put I will abuse what it. What do you mean? I've shown you I have had a talent because I've told. Yeah, you've told me, but now I've I've seen it. Yeah. Like, I like you didn't just time to just you didn't just trace other sheet music. You've literally you literally just made something out of your ass out of nothing. Exactly. And it was really cool. <laughs> like you you shown that it to people. That was literally what the hit camp theme was. Yeah. Like you've shown it to and people and all their reactions are you did you buy this? No. I made it. With what? My computer. What the fuck? <laughs> like that's everyone that's heard it so far. Like, because like our even our art school friends. Because obviously we all know that we can draw. That doesn't surprise each other anymore. But this was like, when, how, what? Yeah, and some and some art friends knew that I could like actually sing. Yeah. Hello, again, hello, you, hello, college talent show. Hello. But again, you but, actually yeah. like constructed your own music. <laughs> it was amazing. So you're you're on that again. I am back. At if my y'all mark. have not already recognized, uh, I did make a, some semblance of a theme song for yes that for more recent videos yes of the new of, we of have our an, an official Mis- Misfit Artist theme song now. Yeah. Um, so we I have did that. Me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> so we have that. Um, and I am back at my martial arts uh, studio. Uh, not as much as I'd like to right now. I can only go one day a week because of work. But, but you've been having fun oh, yes. so far. Yes. G- just going back. Because like, I- I've never stopped doing martial arts. I've, I've, you know, it wasn't like I took, I just took about a three week break from it just to move and everything. It was but a even... whole last month now. It was, it was almost a, almost if not a whole month. Yeah. It's just that time with those people again. Like, I get to spar again, which that wasn't so much... I, I haven't not been on a spar because I took the break. I haven't been on a spar because COVID. <laughs> that too. Because uh, we... Doing that kind of intense action with a mask on is dangerous. Right. And then there's also just the fact that you're sweating more and, you know, it's impossible. Even with the sword, it's kind of impossible to spar without breaking the six feet distance. Mm-hmm. So... Now, at least here, restrictions were, were – I think actually restrictions were raised, and we – martial artists were allowed to spar really early for Ohio. Yeah. Um, but my studio didn't want – Although there are some places that still follow CDC guidelines. I'm sorry for interrupting. No, no. But well, that's the thing. CDC yeah. said that we could. Like, they said it for Ohio specifically. The, those restrictions were lifted a long ways back, actually. For sparring, as long as it like there were certain stipulations that had to be met. You had to wash hands. You could only spar with so like it was. There was a lot of weird things to be safe about. But my studio was like, and eh, we're gonna wait. <laughs> we're gonna wait to see if there's any uh, callbacks or anything. So, but now, but we decided that you know we we got vaccinated. We're feeling good. You know, we feel safe. So, yeah, yep. sparring again. Loving it. I've cut bamboo. My sword lives in our apartment now. Started to take lo- long walks. Yeah. Taking care of ourselves. Yeah. Which is why Hit Cam's going to take a little bit to make. But again, when we're not actually making money off of it, you know, might as well make sure we live to see it be cool. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah. Um, that's that. Uh, let me see. Is there anything else we want to say? Or I don't think so. I think we hit all the talking points. Yeah. 
I guess uh, we'll make sure to say uh, we are we're gonna schedule a stream sometime soon, hopefully by the end of the month, to do a uh, a free art giveaway thing. Because um, we want that was one of the things we want to do if we hit 100 subscribers was to do a f another free digital print giveaway. Um, the next goal at 500 is we will give it do a physical print giveaway where we'll mail mail it out to someone. Uh, but that costs money, so we're going to wait a little bit. Yep. <laughs> but for this, we want to make something. Uh, I think it's going to be fan art of something. So comment below what you'd want to see, and we'll work on the schedule to do that. But it's happening. We haven't forgot. Um, is there anything you want to talk about about the studio? Because, like I so said, we're going to have B-roll for it. Um, well, I think it just perf perfectly encapsulates what we are. We have a Can we talk about the the, the Nickelodeon slime jar? I mean, do you want to talk about it, or do you just want to get close up on it? Because <laughs> just... I want to talk about it. It was okay. it was your idea, first of all. Yeah. Um. So Mecca has this. We bought this mason jar at our at local IKEA. IKEA. Mecca has had lit Nickelodeon slime since forever. Mm -hmm. I used to have a little spray gun for it. I slimed people. And he decided to have the greatest idea to put some random stuff into a jar of Nickelodeon slime. Yeah. So slime dice. See, there's, there's dice. There's, there's a, a fallout fall boy. Vault boy. There's a rubber ducky a that rubber is floating ducky. happily above it. There's yeah. Funko Pop heads. It's so gross. I, <laughs> I don't want to shake it. <laughs> it makes me so happy. But yeah. Um. Yeah. We have, we have our desk. We have space for other people to come and work. We have a baby Yoda shrine. We we accidentally made a baby Yoda shrine. It's just we're working adults, Mecca. We are. <laughs> we both got in paychecks. <laughs> We paid rent. <laughs> we paid rent. We're going to pay rent again. <laughs> yup. So, yeah. Um, we're going to work on revamping. Uh, we're getting uh, our Redbubble shop updated. We, I think we said it last time, but we are going to do it. Yeah. The Patreon is updated, but we need to publish things. Publishing some more. Yeah. But one of the things that we'll have there is um, we're going to put a coloring book up eventually, a digital coloring book, which if we ever go to fairs or cons... Because we want to do artist alleys. That's the thing we want to do. We totally do. Yeah. Um, artist we, alleys. We'll print uh, off the coloring tabling. book. Of, yeah. And we'll have a, it'll be a little book of monsters and some of our original characters. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll have that. We'll have uh, exclusive concept art. We'll have – maybe we'll even put up, like, the, the animatic for the pilot. Comment below. If, if, if you want to see the pilot before it's, like, fully animated and that's something you're interested in. I'm I'm willing to upload the animatic to Patreon, just so that, you know, if people do really like this, they can see it. Yeah, catch you on the flip side then. Yeah, we want we'll do, we'll do more of these. I think. Yeah. I, I want eventually. Just I think us we're, talking. Yeah, eventually we'll do like actual like camera vlogs. I think. I think mean, I think we'll do those on Instagram at least. Yeah. So we just want to. I want to start making things about like us as artists, about living and just. We graduated art school. We didn't necessarily get art jobs right away. But, but that's we're okay. Still, yeah, it's we're okay. Still, we're still just working. We still have something to share. We still have something to do. We have goals that we're reaching. I think it's it's, it's an adventure in itself. Yeah. It's worth showing that if things don't work out the way you planned, you can still make yourself happy because I think that's what we're doing. I don't know. I no, also, I think you said it right. I also you said just it right. got home from work <laughs> like 10 minutes ago and I'm hungry and my feet hurt. <laughs> the, poor, the poor man needs his rest now. <laughs> I, but I didn't want to put this off. I wanted to make sure we did it because we need to make a video. We're also going to, tomorrow we're going to record a podcast with one of our teachers. I'm so Yay! Because he said he gets home tonight and he's willing to do it tomorrow. I'm so excited. So yeah, uh, with that, We'll see y'all. We need to work on your breathing Later. exercises. <laughs> stay safe, stay asthma. spooky. Oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> I, have half the, I literally have half the lungs you have. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to assume that. My love. I dare you well, anyway, <laughs> stay safe, stay weird, stay spooky, my friends. Bye. Bye.